Andy Openshaw is Chief Commercial Officer at ECN. Andy, who is ECN and what is it that you do? Hi, Erica, thanks. ECN is a new player in the now competitive telecoms market in the South African environment. We are a next generation uh, converged operator delivering voice and data services to corporate South Africa. Um, next generation around the area of being a computer network carrying voice using IP rather than the old telecoms networks that they had. So who is your target market? You talk about the commercial market, is that it? Our target market has evolved over the four years we've been in business. We've started looking at the large corporates because that's where the, the large telecoms bills were and where the substantial savings are available. As the market has evolved and our business and our network has evolved, we've been able to expand that down to smaller SMMEs and we're in fact running some tests and trials at gated communities for residential service delivery as well. Perhaps a related question, what is your business model? Okay, I think from, from the business model point of view, ECN is positioned to deliver substantial savings on corporate's telephone voice bills as they are at the moment in the market. ECN, if the company would, was to move to the ECN network, we can show them substantial savings on their monthly spend, up to 35, 40% off what they're currently paying the local incumbents. Um, and that's that something on, you can guarantee? Yes, we can absolutely guarantee savings. Uh, we take the corporate spend from an organization, we do an analysis, we run it through our billing cycles and our processes, and what we see then is that we can deliver the same services, and that is on all call types. So calls to local numbers, national numbers, international numbers, and fixed to mobile numbers. We can deliver savings across the four categories and maintain the quality that they're used to. So you're getting vastly reduced spend, but maintaining your quality of your voice, because we have to understand that voice is critical to the company and the organization, because that's how they're doing their business. If you could be more specific, what are ECN's products and what are your services? Right, ECN at the moment has been majority focused on the voice product arena. What we do is we're looking at taking people's voice, we're taking their telephone calls off their PABXs and we're making savings on those. The evolution to a full next generation network means we can add data services over and above those voice services once we've delivered the savings that we want to show to the customers. Um, so voice primarily, data next and evolving over the next couple of years as the, as the um, customer base settles and the voice service is in place, we can then start adding added value services and functionalities. We'll add things like video conferencing, voice recording, IP-centric PABX capability, a lot of new stuff that's not in the market at the moment that will again pass more savings down to the customers once they've got used to making the savings on their voice. As the commercial officer, I would imagine this is a question you answer every day. What is the customer value proposition from ECN? I think the customer value proposition is quite simple. We can take 40% off your telephone spend. Um, when, with the South African market situation, in fact the world market situation at the moment, everybody's been in this major sales cycle, everybody's been over exceeding on sales targets. Unfortunately in the last six months that has come to a grinding stop. Uh, people are now very quickly looking at their costs and saying how can we improve our bottom line. Um, we are seeing a large number of corporates now realizing that costs have got out of control and a very easy cost for them to, to get a handle on is their telephony spend. Um, organizations, large corporates might be spending two, three, four, five million rand a month. If you can take 30 or 40 percent off that, you're looking at a 10 million rand saving on your bottom line at the end of the year. That's a big number in anybody's terms, especially when the market's under pressure. Mm -hmm. But Andy, it is a very competitive market. Why would anyone choose ECN over one of the other providers? I think you're right. I think we've, we've had a very non-competitive market. It's been a monopoly for so long. Um, the deregulation and the competitive landscape hasn't opened up as quickly as we all would have liked. Um, for four years, the first couple of years we were in business, it was slower to gain traction. A lot of people now are seeing they want to change, they want to move. Uh, there's been a number of competitors into the space and exit the space. Um, carrying voice over a data network, voice over IP as it is, is not a simple process. It takes a lot of commitment, it takes a lot of effort, it takes a lot of very smart people and a fair amount of cash to build a network that can do it. And you've got to make sure you maintain the quality. Um, we have ensured we maintain the voice quality while delivering the savings. Our competitors haven't been able to do that to date. We believe we're 12, 18 months ahead of the rest of the pack because we've been going at it longer, we've been focusing on it harder, and um, I think we can stay ahead of the competition. 
And at the core of all of this is the wonderful technology and all the advancements we see every year. And yet, that technology is meaningless unless you're able to harness it and use it. How does ECN address that? I think what we've done is, that with any telco operation, you've got a lot of propeller heads sitting in the back developing all the systems. Where the loss or the difficulty comes is when you try and sell all this technology to someone who's just interested in making a, a telephone call or connecting to the internet and saving money. What we've done at ECN is we've, simpli we've simplified the offering. We do not talk about the technology. We're not selling how clever our machines are or how clever our engineers are. That all stays. That's part of the package at the back of the network. What we're doing is saying we can deliver you voice and we can save you money. It's a very simple thing for the people to get their, their minds around. To aid them in their decision of moving to ECN, we have a standard proof of concept model where at our own risk, we will put them onto our network deliver them service for a period of one, two, or three months, save them on that traffic that we are carrying for them, and if they don't like us for whatever reason, if we don't deliver on the quality, if they don't see the savings, we'll pack up and move all at our own cost. So there's really no risk to the customer. When we deploy the system into the customer, there is no upfront charge to the customer. We put the equipment, the connectivity to our exchange buildings, the connectivity to our networks, all of that goes in at our cost. The customer simply pays at the end of his first month for the voice minutes or seconds that he's terminated that month, nothing else. And who are those customers? The enjoyable position we sit in is we really can target any of the large corporates in South Africa all the way down to the SMMEs, as I said earlier. Customers currently on our network include corporates the likes of Clover, Discovery, Mutual and Federal, Auto in General, Hollard Insurance. Coca-Cola, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I could give you a list of a couple of hundred who are currently on and another couple of hundred who will be on the network by this time next year. For the year ahead and beyond, Andy, what are the growth opportunities for ECN? The growth opportunities are phenomenal. We um, are growing, over the last year, our growth has been in excess of 1,000% over 12 months. Um, our pipeline of customers that we have committing to come onto our network next year so will exceed that growth level. Growth at that level is tough. But the demand is there. We're fortunate in that we've got very good and supportive shareholders and a very committed team. Everybody has decided we are going to get that traffic onto our network. So growth over the next two to three years for ECN in the voice and then the data space is incredibly positive. That's Andy Openshaw. He's Chief Commercial Officer at ECN.